were called Dutch. Yeah? And what they did was they played with a ball to a flag. No hole, and it was closest to the flag stick. They only did it from one distance to the flag stick. And they called it Kof. And that was in 1456. More or less one year later, in Scotland, okay, in St. Andrews, Scotland, they called it golf, as it is known today, G-O-L-F. Flag stick with a hole, and the objective was to put the ball into the hole, and they played it from different distances to see what score that you could try and get, and that's as we know it nowadays, as we call it golf, okay? Anyone ever heard of St. Andrews, Scotland? Has anyone ever heard of St. Andrews, Scotland? Never. Not at all. Okay? It's known as the birthplace of golf. Okay? So, when they started playing, they first of all started playing on 12 whole golf courses. Most golf courses nowadays have 18 holes. As you know, here at Celebration, we have an 18 hole golf course. Yeah? But they started playing with 12 holes. And it was mainly these numbers. Okay, so a typical American golf course, we call it man made. Okay? When we first started playing golf, the golf courses were beside the coastline. What's on the coastline? The sea. Sea. You got the sea, you got the land. What's in between the land and the sea? No. You got the land, you got the sea. What's in between? Sand. You're awake. Good job. <laughs> okay, we've got sand. So think of you guys going to the beach. You walk up out of the ocean onto the sand. Now you're getting on the land. What does that land look like? Is it green? No. No. What color is it? Blue. Yellow. Yellow? Brown? Yeah? White. White? Think, think about what that land is like. Okay, so what they did in Scotland was that land is called lynx land. Okay? They can't grow anything on it. Can't plant any potatoes, carrots. You'll never see any any big trees or anything like that beside the ocean. Okay. So what that land is called is lynx land. What they used that for, and how they started to play golf, was because it was a sport. It was a pastime. Also, what lives on that land? What kind of animals? Sheep. Sheep. Okay. Do cows live there? No. Cows need green grass. True? Yeah? But sheep don't need ripe grass. Sheep can live anywhere. Sheep live on hills, steep hills, but also on very flat land, on the seaside. It's very windy. So what do sheep do when it's windy? How do they hide? You know the answer? No? In their fur? In their fur? In their fur. In their fur, okay. What's their fur like? It's warm. Yeah? What they would do in windy days is they would start burrowing to hide from the wind. So if they start digging up the ground, yeah, the grass, what's underneath the grass? Sand. Sand. Isn't soil because it's so equipment. See the golf clubs that you use today? Yeah? What are they made of? Steel. Steel. Or graphite. Not wood. No. Titanium. Metal. 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 Okay? Years gone by when they first started, the shafts were made out of wood and also the club heads were made out of wood. Okay? They were made out of wood. Okay, but what happens to wood? Boys, can you keep quiet? Do you need to go to the restroom? Go. What's that? Okay, wood 
burns, but what happens to it when you play golf with it? Yeah, you broke it. It breaks. Okay? It's not very strong, yeah? Pass that around and look at it.